Dublin, Ireland, home to the world's most famous dry stout. Introduced in 1759, Guinness has amassed a rich history, and today it's available in pubs and bars all around the world. Today I pay homage to one of the most prestigious beers, by hand painting and gilding one of their most famous signs. Let's get into it. Hello everyone and welcome to The Lighthead. So good to have you all here with me. I'm really excited to show you this video because I had so much fun working on it. So I'm gonna speed through all the marking out of this and we're gonna jump straight into it. Now the brushes I'm using today are the MAC 179 lettering quills. Uh, these ones are really, really soft. I found them great for this. They just hold so much paint, really, really good. Absolutely in love with them. Uh, just got them a few weeks ago and just so impressed. My first MAC brush too, so I'm looking forward to getting more of them. I think this one is a size seven. For the lettering, I've just used uh, lettering white and that's from Ronan. That one's really, really good actually. It worked really well today. It covered pretty good too. For the size for the gilding, I have used the One Shot Imitation Gold. Just shows out so well and it's really good to gild as well. So if you haven't got any quick dry gold size, always recommend Imitation Gold from One Shot. And at the bottom, I think I have One Shot Bright Red. I like this colour, it paints well, but just takes an entire 24 hours to properly dry. So good luck to you if you're planning on doing anything else on your sign today. And yes, I have used tape today, but I had a feeling it would turn out better if I did, and anyone who don't like it can go suck a
Now it's worth pointing out this time I did gild this imitation leaf earlier than I normally would. Uh, I really wanted it to stick really well to the size and last time I did this I waited until I normally would gild gold leaf but then I found out it wasn't really tacky enough to keep the imitation gold on there. So yeah I did it a little bit more wet than usual. I feel like it lost a lot of its shine though. Um, it was probably a lot more shiny when I did it drier but what you gotta do huh? Now for this video I'm using imitation leaf uh, mostly because I can't afford to use gold leaf on these videos. I mean certainly at the moment it is definitely a labour of love. Putting a lot more time and money into this than I was hoping to when I started it. But it is a lot of fun and we're learning a lot together. So I suppose that's all that matters. I love watching the leaf wipe away, love it is so satisfying. I mean there is room in the ASMR market for clips like this. So now the gilding is done but it's getting a little bit late so I am going to finish off for today and tomorrow I'm going to go back at this and uh, we're going to put in the red script at the bottom. Ah, as much as I hate recording the voiceover for these things, it's really good to be back and seeing you all once again. So once again, thank you all for watching. If you've liked this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe. There'll be more different kind of content, lots more stuff coming up soon. So I will see you in the next video. Until then, taters.